Hey, this is Jeremy from Northern Kentucky, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. We're back at work with a fresh haircut. How about that? I didn't go right down to the bone this time, but uh, looks better though, right? So we're here, we got a roll tight trailer behind us. I gotta go drop off the load that's inside it right now in Stonewall, Manitoba, which is like northwest of Winnipeg. And after that, I gotta go up to Toulon, which is a little further down than seven, they're a little further. Pick up some more freight. That freight's going to West Virginia and Virginia. So the two brothers out there, Virginia and West Virginia, doing things their own way, but they got the same name. We got some freight coming your way. Let's go get it. Why do I look so tired? I am aging, I am getting older, and that's okay, you know? I can see myself just to the, just over here. That's okay. Just shows the experience, life experience. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Look at that nice truck over there. It's a nice Pete. Hey, should I buy a truck? Should I buy a Pete? Should I buy a Kenworth? I'm thinking about getting a, a long nose Pete or Kenworth flat top sleeper. Let me know your thoughts. I just about grabbed the wrong trailer this morning. I'm supposed to grab trailer 603 TLR. But on the paperwork, the driver who brought it in, his, his handwriting isn't very legible. He's in a bit of a rush and it looked like a five. It's supposed to be 603. So I had hooked up to 605 and I was out the gate on the way. When suddenly, I thought about the freight inside the trailer. Cause I checked the freight, right? I hooked up, I checked the freight and I'm like, that's weird that they would be receiving like, it was like a freight, uh, pallets of boxes. And that's not usually this kind of freight I bring to this customer. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna stop, pull over here, check one more time. This freight seems a little odd to be going to this location that I'm that I go to all the time. So I go and I look deeper into it. I was like, that's so strange. I look at the paperwork, it says 605. I look at the trailer, I've got 605. I look at the freight, that doesn't look like what it's supposed to be. I'm looking at the paperwork, I'm like, that could be put in boxes, I guess. So I had to climb in there, open up like one of the boxes, figure out what was inside. I'm like, that's not what I'm supposed to be delivering. So I was all confused. I came back to the yard, I messaged the load gods. I'm like, I don't think I got the right trailer here. What's going on? And we figured out, no, it's supposed to be 603, but whoever wrote 603 on the paperwork had very messy scribbles for writing. So a little heads up here, make sure that your writing is neat on your paperwork so that other people can read it easily. Because I just about went all the way to Stonewall with the wrong trailer because your three looked like a five. <laughs> Good thing I checked the freight, right? Some people, they skip over that. And I was, I've been there before. I'm like, they don't usually get a bunch of boxes, but maybe this time they are. But double checked it and sure enough, I had to get this trailer instead. We're delivering like uh, fencing, fencing pieces, which could be in boxes, but usually they're not. And I was right, they're not in boxes. So let's just quickly go out here and check things. Right, so it's 6.03, not 6.05. Make sure your uh, your writing is readable, legible. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's kind of stopped already, but it's snowing. In May, look at the floodway, wow! Look at all the water, this is the, the water that they've uh, diverted around Winnipeg. Winnipeg has its own floodway. This was the biggest earth moving project on the planet when they did it. Back when Winnipeg did big things, made a name for themselves, this floodway was the, a massive undertaking. And what it does is it diverts the water from the Red River around Winnipeg, saves the residents of Winnipeg. Because right now all that water would be in the Red River and the Red River's already at, at the highest level it should be. So they would all be flooded every year. They hadn't have built that.
want to see something cool? Go, okay, look. Look. First of all, I'm going to show you the old one. I polished one of the tanks. So this is what the tanks look like, right? I did clean the front of this one already, but I haven't polished it. And I'm missing a mud flap here, so it's constantly getting dirty down there. I'm going to have to get a new mud flap for that. Uh... But look at the back here, right? And the other tank looked exactly the same. Can't see any type of reflection, nothing. It's it's bad, right? It's seen better days. Now let's go see the other side. I'll show you. Dun dun dun! Look at that. Look at that. See, you can see the reflection of me in there. It's not completely uh, like mirror finished, and I did just get what I could reach here. I'm not finished, but uh, I wanted to see if I could get it shining again, and I could. Look at the back here. This is how, this was just as dirty as the other side. Like, look at this now. You can see me in there. So, big improvement already. Big improvement. One piece at a time. One day it's gonna shine. You'll know it's me when I roll through your town. Gotta get rid of that rust. That's gonna be the tough part, because I don't I don't know how to do rust yet. And this rust over here is bad. Like up there. Oh what can you do? I'm doing the best that I can to make it better than I found it, right? Eventually I'll probably have my own truck. And uh this one will go to someone else then. I hope they don't just junk it after all the work I put into it, but it's an old truck. Not a lot of people like to drive old trucks like I do. I don't know why. They're better. They might try and put me in a newer truck. The only thing good about that would be that it would have a sleeper on it. But other than that, I don't want to drive the new trucks. I want to drive the old trucks. But uh, not a lot of people feel the same. You see, I also uh, cleaned this here. I'm not finished polishing it, but I cleaned this here. So that there's not that, uh, it just doesn't look as ugly. See, it used to look like this here. I haven't finished this yet, but uh, slowly, right? One little bit at a time. It's it's not going to be uh, like a showstopper, but it's going to be something I'm a little bit more proud of to drive, you know? I like to take pride in my ride, even if it's not mine. And it gives me something to do, and it makes me feel good. It's uh, like a stress relief. So, make something look better. So I want to get that tank done, hopefully tomorrow, or at least started really well. Gotta find a muff, uh, not a muffler, a mud flap for that. But. And then, you know, eventually if I get tired enough of these half fenders not matching, I'm just gonna go and put ones on myself, you know what? I'll, I'll just buy them already, that's how Badly, I want new half fenders. <laughs> uh, we'll wait on that, though. We'll wait on that. We'll see. I'll have to get the green light. But I am thinking about getting my own truck. I, I even posted a little uh, questionnaire on YouTube there uh, asking, hey, should I buy a new truck? And I just wanted to get people talking, get people buzzing, and it worked. And most people said, yes, of course. Well, yeah, it's easy to tell someone else to buy a truck, right? Because it's not your finances that have to buy it. <laughs> so yeah, you should buy a truck. Uh, it's different when you got to finance it. But yeah, I am looking into it. Um, I'm looking to it into, into the future. It won't be immediately. Like It's not going to be tomorrow or anything or next week. It'll be a little while. It's going to be the one. It's going to be the one. It's going to be the one that I want. Kenworth W900 L for long nose. It might even be a Peterbilt 389 or 379 long nose. Uh, it's going to be an older truck. I want to restore it from the ground up and I want to build it into a show truck. I want to have it on the circuit. I want to be at truck shows and be competing uh, to win at those things. I want, a, I want a shiny show truck that's also going to be a daily driver. That's the plan. So the plan is get an older truck. It's okay if it's not the best looker. I'm going to take care of that and I'm going to build it into a, a nice uh, flagship show model. 
I just don't know when I can get this started. Uh, we got to get a few things taken care of first. Obviously, this whole IVF thing and having a baby, we got to do that first. Uh, make sure that all our finances are in order for that. This truck is going to be awesome, though. It's going to be awesome. I want to be at all the show and shine events I can be at. Uh, I want to take Keystone with me so that we can do some, something similar to what we did at Truck World. Uh, except I want to have a few more banners uh, and a little bit more of the booth with my logos and stuff on there. I want to have merch at these uh, events. I want to have like meet and greets where we can meet you guys. We can all hang out and look at all the fancy trucks together. You know, I'll have a truck that I can show off as well. Maybe I can win some prizes. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to build it up together. And I think it'd be really cool for the channel as well to have a truck like, hey, uh, this month we're doing the stacks and I can take you guys along with when I go buy the stacks and maybe me and my dad can install a lot of the stuff ourselves and we can include that in the channel and the whole channel can be about you know building up the truck and getting ready for the shows and stuff and meeting you guys we'll see we'll see for now we're gonna keep doing what we're doing though I got a really good gig here and uh, I'm do my best here shop after work and uh, you know doing the usual cleaning the truck and stuff and remember we were just talking about door dings the other day just on the weekend remember that on that very day when I was talking about watching your doors I got my door dinged at Canadian Tire want to see it's right here you see it see it right there Crying out loud. It's a good one too. It's a good one. Oh, it makes me so angry. So angry. But the truck is nice and shiny other than that though, eh? Just giving her the old bull snot treatment here before I go home. Britt's working late today, so I figure I may as well uh, spend the evening here. Got a few new things for the shop. Uh, we got some shelving to store all our stuff on, get it off the ground. Got another table back here for some more uh, surface area. It's not a work table. It's just for putting stuff on. I need to build a work table yet. Ah, maybe I'll put that one on that side. I don't know, but uh, eh. Hold on to your doors. Stop dinging people's doors. I'll ding you back if I find out who it is. Oh. I'm at my mailbox and uh, got a couple of packages here. Got another one from Death Wish Coffee. Someone likes my rants because whenever I drink Death Wish Coffee, I go on crazy rants because I get such a caffeine rush. And I got another package here from United Kingdom. You talked me into it. I'm going to open it right now. It says do not bend. So I don't wanna I don't wanna damage it. What's an O? Oh. 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 Highland titles. The everlasting gift of Scottish land. Wait a second. Right. No way. It says on the back here. Ha <laughs> ha! Lord Diesel Weasel Giesbrecht, please find enclosed your disposition certificate of sale for plot A blah 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 confirming you now own a Highland estate in the Highland Titles Nature Reserve at Durr near Glencoe. It is my hope that you enjoy the experience of being a landowner as much as the land itself and that you feel part of our community. You can now make use of our free app in order to fully appreciate your land. I 
No, not me. Diesel. Diesel owns land in Scotland. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Lord Diesel Weasel Geesberg. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to keep it in the plastic till I get home. But, uh... Diesel, he is now officially a lord. Oh, he's going to be so excited. He's going to be so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Where did this come from? It's probably in here, right? If you are receiving this as a gift, you'll need to register your plot. Oh, sorry, I need to, I need to go register it yet. Until he's officially a lord. Is there more in here? Or, uh, no, that's just it. So the name I got on here is, uh, Roy? Is that who it came from? Roy in United Kingdom. Oh, no, 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 sender's name, Stefan. I don't know about, he wants his last name said online, but, uh, or is it Steven? Stefan or Steven, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Steven or Stefan? I've heard it pronounced both ways. <laughs> Thanks so much, man, that's awesome. Diesel is gonna be thrilled. He is officially a lord. We're gonna have to get him like a, a crown, or not a crown, or a, a hat, a lord's hat, maybe a bow tie or something. Oh, this is going on the wall for sure. That is so awesome. I've heard of those. I've heard of those. You see them advertised all the time online, right? Diesel, Lord of all weasels. Officially. <laughs>